Hey everybody, I'm Gino Reynolds from The Real Opinion. This last weekend, The Hobbit's second chapter hit the theaters. Was it worth leaving your Hobbit hole for? Let's take a look. The story continues as the Dwarves of Erebor continue their journey to the Lonely Mountain. They are still being pursued by Azog the Defiler and his army. Gandalf decides to take the Dwarves on a path that they would rather not take, but ends up having to leave the party to take on a separate mission that may involve an ancient evil. Unlike the first movie, I felt that this one was a bit more complete. That is not to say it wasn't without its problems. The first problem I had with the movie was that the series has way too many subplots. I know that the movie studios are just trying to fill three movies, but I feel that all the plots take away from the main focus of The Hobbit's most important story, which is the story of Bilbo. I do enjoy knowing where Gandalf ran off to, but there is a major subplot that I felt was totally unnecessary. That subplot would be the Legolas Tario Keeley love triangle. I understand the movie studios wanting to bring in Orlando Bloom and Evangeline Lilly for the sex appeal, but both of them and their story took way too much focus away from more important things. I actually liked the character of Tariel even though she was not in any of the books. Also, I was never a big fan of Legolas to begin with, but it would have been possible for his character to be there even though he was not named in the Hobbit book. I think a cameo from Bloom would have worked better than the story that was dragged out here. Oh, and get used to looking at this same blank stare on Bloom's face because you see it a lot in this film. Everything involving the dragon smog was incredible. Benedict Cumberbatch did a great job with the voice and the motion capture of the character. If there is one thing that these movies get right, it is the use of motion capture to create character. I did have a bit of a problem with the title of the movie. Why would you call it the desolation of smog when you don't show, you know, the desolation of smog? This is where stretching out the story has become a problem. This tale could have been told in two movies, instead it is being unnecessarily spread out into three. While it did have its problems, this movie is a step up from the first one. Other than the love triangle and the lack of focus on what should be important, it is still a pretty good story so far. I just hope that the third chapter regains the focus on Bilbo, because the story is, after all, called The Hobbit. But remember, it's only just one guy's opinion. I'm Gino Reynolds from The Real Opinion. Until next time.